Okay, so what if you're using the Mac version of Visual Studio? Um, no problem. Uh, as long as you're added to the project and you're allowed to collaborate with other other team members, um, you can you can log in to your to your account and go to the project page. And uh, here you can see different branches. You also have access to this uh, link to the project. So I'm just going to copy the link similar to when I'm doing this on Windows and then open Visual Studio. So when you open the Visual Studio on top here, you get these menus, right? Under Git, you have clone repository, right? Uh, you also under file, you have clone repository. So, so you can uh, paste that address here and the target folder will create a folder with a similar name for you. And this target folder doesn't matter. You can change the name to whatever you want, but as long as you're tracking this origin, it's fine. So you can clone this now on your Mac. And then um, again, by default, this will clone the master branch, but you do have uh, the ability to, to uh, also have other branches on your Mac as well. So here I'm going to go again to Git tab. And now here the, the menu is, is a bit different compared to Windows. In this case, if I want to have other branches, I can go to manage branches and remotes. And you see that I don't have that development branch here. I can go to remote sources and check the remote sources. And I see that I have this development branch here. So I can click on development and track in local branch. <clears throat> the, the name development is fine. And uh, I have to make sure that I, I choose the development branch here. And my local branch development will track the uh, remote branch development, meaning that my local will be connected to the GitHub branch. Okay. And then if I go back to branches, I can see both of these branches and you can either directly switch to the branch here or close this and go to GitHub and uh, go to Git switch branch development. When you switch branch means that you checked out that branch meaning that now development branch is active on your local computer. Now, this one is showing the, the model with all of the changes that, that we made before. And uh, let's say I want to make some changes here. Uh, this supplier, uh, the L is missing here. The, the L is problematic. I want to change this um, supplier, just add the L here to the file name. And I also want to add it here to the class name. And um, that's that's fine. And let's say to the in the program, I want to add a, a line of code saying that, um, for example, loading. All right, I saved these files and I, I made some changes here and on the right hand side, you have a, a few tabs here. And one of the tabs is, is uh, Git changes, right? Here I, I uh, pinned it to, to my Visual Studio, but um, normally you will see the tab here and then you can click on it and it will show you the Git changes. And, and now in the Git changes, you see that um, this program.cs is not staged see the state changes will be committed. So this program.cs is not staged. So I'm gonna stage all, all of the changes. Now, both changes that I made are staged, meaning that they are ready to be committed. And I'm gonna say what I did here. Um, fixed the supplier class. And you can, you can explain what happened here and um, added loading message to the program class. Um, if the changes are very different, some people like to do this as separate commits so that the history is uh, clean. 
but it really depends on uh, on different people have different mindsets. Some people don't like several commits because the history will be messy. So it's up to you how you want to manage your project. So here, if I just commit the stage, this will be committed locally. And if I do commit and push, this will go to the uh, the remote branch as well. So I'm just going to commit this. Now I have one outgoing commit. I can make more changes and commit again. And that's fine. Let's say I'm going to go here and add another class, new class. And let's say this class is um, something like a customer appointment class. I create this class and let's say that's it. This is the class I create here. And again, you see that you have the changes. You can stage them. And now that you stage them, you can say added the customer appointment class. And uh, I commit this changes. Now I have two outgoing um, commits. And whenever I'm fine with the changes, first I can pull the changes to make sure that if somebody else made changes to this development branch, I want to see them first. So I pull and it says update operation completed. I don't see any changes, right? And um, now I can push my changes. So push, this push, pushing the changes, it says push operation successfully completed. And if you go and check the actual GitHub repository, go to the development branch, um, you can see if I click here under the model, now uh, supplier has the L here and I added this customer appointment, right? So everything looks fine. I, I just updated the, the project through my Mac as well.